And we're back. Rush Limbaugh, having more fun than a human being should be allowed to have. Now, I mentioned earlier that uh, Obama's plummeting numbers do not equal people blaming him for what's going wrong. That's sad. What it means, and this, this, is, this is the, I mentioned this before, too. This is the real, to me, damaging aspect of this. And it, it, well, there are many damaging aspects, but this is one of them. When you see Obama, who is given every benefit of the doubt, Obama couldn't possibly want to hurt anybody. He, no, he, he, he didn't intend to do that. He didn't intend to harm the economy. For, but Republicans do. You see, there's always in the Washington soap opera, the soap opera needs a villain, many of them. And the Republicans are the villains every day in the news media. And they're the haters. And so while Obama is actually engaging in things that making jobs worse, the economy worse, health care worse, it's the Republicans who get the blame while Obama's doing the damage. Obama doesn't get the blame because well, he's a good person. He's not, yeah, all this is happening, but he didn't intend it to. Look at the Republicans aren't helping him, man. Look at what he could do. Maybe if if if, if Republicans will work with him, but but he, he, he doesn't want people lose their jobs. He doesn't want health care to, to be blown up like this. This is what they think. So when his approval numbers fall, it's not because they're attaching him to the failures. They're losing faith in the country. And that is the real damaging thing, particularly among young people, millennials. They think the American dream has died. Not and, and it hasn't. The American dream is alive and well. It's being suppressed right now by the Democrat Party, but they don't see that. How, give me another example. How does it work on the other side? Okay, the other day, Stephen Colbert sent out a tweet, just total racist tweet making fun of Chinese people, while he was intending to make fun of Daniel Snyder. But he totally blew it. But the left rallied to his defense. Well, we, come on, you know Colbert. He wouldn't intend to make fun of Chinese people. And that's how it works, folks. Harry Reeve, I remember I was at a Sunday night football game uh, two years ago, and Harry Reeve had made some stupidly dumb racist comment about blacks in general and Obama. And I happened to mention it to some leftist NBC employee. Oh, surely you don't think Harry Reeve means. What do you mean? I don't think he means. He said it. Yeah, but he doesn't mean. You know, all this stuff went in one ear and out the other. And it, I, I've, I've been struggling with this for the longest time, trying to understand how this has all worked. Remember when I said to you, before I got this radio show, nobody thought I hated anybody. Before I got this radio show, nobody thought I was a bigot or anti-anybody. On a personal humanity-based basis. Six months after this radio show, I'm a racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe. And I didn't know what to do about it. And I've got people advising, you can't let that stand. You've got to reply to it. And I replied to it, and it just got bigger. I ignore it. It kept happening, but I at least didn't expand the criticism beyond where it originally came from. Uh, and I knew instinctively what was going on here. Okay, I'm a conservative. I equal this because this is what the media template is, what the Democrat Party is. But I didn't realize the depth and, and, the, and, the, and the degree to which low-information people believe it. I'm sitting, I'm on the radio every day. I don't hate anybody. I never articulate hate. I, in fact, I love everybody. I want everybody to... But yet... People who do not listen here firmly believe that I hate Sarah Palin, is stupid, uh, that Ronald Reagan, just this weekend, I read a piece justifying what happened to Brendan Ike because Reagan actually is the guy who started this because he hated people with AIDS. If you want to blame anybody, this poster said it's some blog. Blame Reagan, because when AIDS hit in the 80s, Reagan didn't care. Reagan didn't say anything. Reagan didn't care. So Reagan stayed silent and people died. And and I was alive back then and doing a radio show. And I remember all of that. And I remember this is this is crazy. 
It was along the same lines as they actually were accusing Reagan of wanting the homeless to stay homeless. They'd sneak over to Lafayette Park at night and steal her pork and beans and go back to the White House and eat it. And this stuff has been here for 25 years, and it's been bouncing off of me, and I some of it's gotten in, but I never... Uh, the reason I didn't totally believe it is because I never really believed that they could make this kind of thing stick with people. But here they have, folks. It, it, this is one of the things we're upping it. For example... Go back to close the loop on something I mentioned in the previous half hour. The Republicans are desperate here. Are they not to be liked by who? The Democrats. They're desperate to get some Democrat voters. So they're talking about their own amnesty policy. And there's this... The, uh, the Drudge and the AP seem to be trying to make there's a there's a story here the uh, AP story GOP seeks coverage choices in health law they hate Try, look at the headline GOP seeks coverage choices in health law they hate okay so there were the Republicans hate health care reform. A, it's in the headline. B, what the story is about is how the Republicans, even though they hate it, are doing something that's going to help small business. It's it's right in line with my theory today. They hate this, but they're doing it to mask their hatred and to help their buddies in small business. Now, when Drudge reported this, and, and, and the AP people did too, they're trying to make it look like, almost like it's a cave from the GOP. And Boehner reacted to this today. I said, we're not caving any. We're trying to limit the damage of this damn thing to some small business people. But the AP reports that the Republicans hate it and that they're trying to limit the damage only to their friends in small business. Drudge reports it as Republicans caving. I don't care how it gets reported. Here's the upshot of this. The news of the day features the Republicans not repealing Obamacare. No, no, they hate it, but they're trying to modify it for their buddies. But at the end of the day, you know what the story is going to be? They hate Obamacare. They're just doing this to mask their hatred and trying to help their rich friends. And it's going to be the same thing on amnesty. They don't really like Hispanic people. They don't really want more of them here. They're just doing this to mask the fact that they hate Hispanic people. Do not doubt me on this. Brendan Ike canned, forced out, cause his $1,000 donation four years ago equal hatred for gay people, not opposition to gay marriage, not support for heterosexual marriage for whatever reason. No, he, hey, people didn't even know him. Just automatically attach demonic intentions to him. Had to go. This is exactly how... It is done. But the left is given a total pass when they engage in their own bigotry, when they engage in their own hatred, when they engage in what this is. This is Stalinism. This is statism. This is totalitarian fascism, whatever you want to call it. This is not diversity. This is not tolerance. This is none of what they say it is. It is the exact opposite of what they say it is. And so their targets, what are they going to do? No, I don't hate anybody. Well, what do you mean you don't hate anybody? Why are you saying that? Well, you say I hate people. I don't hate. Is that how you get around this? No, it isn't. They're going to get you anywhere to say you don't hate. It, it's the, you, you accept the premise in denying it. It's they have to be characterized. We don't owe anybody a defense because it's phony and foolish. They are the ones who have to be characterized correctly. They're the ones who we have to defeat. 
not get along with. They're not interested in getting along with us. They have no desire to have us cross the aisle or them cross the aisle. They have no desire to work together. They have no desire to make Washington work by everybody getting together. The only thing they want is for us to not exist or shut up. And if we don't shut up, they'll find a way to get rid of us, one by one if they have to. You've seen it. And when it happens, what do the Republicans do? They're make, they, they, they beat the Democrats in the punch and they throw their own people overboard. Well, we're not people of hatred. We can't have that kind of person in our party. We can't have that kind of stupidity in our party. We can't have... And they denounce their own. They throw them overboard. And the left never does that. Have you ever seen the left throw any of theirs overboard ever? All they do is circle the wagons. They didn't intend that. You think anybody ever said of... Uh, is there any Republican that's, that's, that's popped up and said, come on, David Koch hates? Do you really, does anybody really want to try to make the case here? Does anybody really want to think David Koch is given $100 million to cover the fact that he's a bigot? Does any Republican stand up? Does anybody stand up and defend Koch or say anything like that and refute any of it? No. It's just left out there to dangle. And the low information voter doesn't see any reaction to it. Well, must be true. But it's now, it's been going on for so long, it's not even a conscious belief anymore. It's just the assumption of what is. And this is why being a liberal is the most gutless choice you can make. It's the easiest thing in the world you can do. Being a liberal allows you to do and be and say anything with no recriminations. You can even go out and lie and make up a story about the president and the National Guard. You may lose your job, but you won't lose your reputation. The left will circle the wagons and give you an award for it. And then some other liberal will hire you on his cable network and you can continue to do, quote unquote, the news. I must take a brief time out. I'm still not through with this. And I... Just a couple more things that I want to run by. I've, I read again the statement from the babe at Mozilla. Let me, this, listen to this paragraph. I read this to you last week, but I, Mozilla believes both in equality and freedom of speech. No, you don't. You do not believe in equality and freedom of speech. You can't. Equality, listen to this next one, equality is necessary for meaningful speech. What in the world does that even mean? Equality is not necessary for meaningful speech. Some of the most meaningful speech has come from people in prison. Natan Cherensky, for one. Solzhenitsyn in the Gulag Archipelago. Archipelago. What do you? What is it? Equality is necessary for meaningful. Sp- Listen to Limbo. He sounds so filled with hatred. No, I'm not filled with hatred. I'm filled with incredulity. Somebody's going to stand up and, and, and say something. What they call this? What this is? This is not inclusiveness. This is not tolerance. And this is not diversity. This is pure, unadulterated fascism. Equality is necessary for meaningful speech. Meaningful speech? What the hell is meaningful speech anyway? Who gets to decide that? And you need free speech to fight for equality. No, you don't. Solzhenitsyn was in jail when he was fighting for equality, when he wrote a book. Any number of people have been in shackles one way or the other, because it's been the history of human beings, actually. Free speech didn't come along and it was not even officially codified in human history until 1776. What do you mean, free speech? You need free speech to fight for equality. And then figuring out how to stand for both at the same time can be hard. No, it isn't. No, it's the, how to stand for free speech and equality at the same time is hard. Only if you actually oppose free speech is that hard. Anyway, it's mind-boggling. And these people think they're the smartest people in the room. These are the ones shutting everybody up because they don't make any sense to them. These, 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 this is just... It's just fascism, folks. It's just, it's what it is. I gotta take another break. We'll be back here after... 